So my name is Emanuel Reichsellner from the Esslingen University. And first of all, I want to thank the Sumo team for enabling this uh, inspiring conference and also all the speakers for the contribution. And um, I, I want to present our Sumo extension, Sumo for AV. As Michael already mentioned, our title is quite bulky, <laughs> but I'm sure the content is quite interesting. Uh, but before I want to jump into the content, I want just to say a few words about the uh, Esslingen University of Applied Sciences. Esslingen, it's a small city with a beautiful city center in a medieval style. And you see on the left a nice picture here. And um, the right, you see the main campus of the Esslingen University. There are studying around 6,000 students in um, engineering, IT, or social studies. Our research team, the KIN, is a cooperation between the Fraunhofer Research Organization and the Esslingen University. And our research focus is energy, information, and mobility. But now we'll come back to our project. So I uh, want to show you basically what we are doing here. We have a fleet of autonomous vehicles driving around here. And you see these uh, red dots here, which are giant waiting customers in front of certain points of interest. For example, um, apartment buildings or office buildings or um, restaurants. And they want to get picked up and driven to other points of interest. For example, we have these green dots and areas which are theaters here. We have these blue dots, which are restaurants, these pink areas, which are office buildings. And um, so now is the question, what do we basically need to perform such kind of simulations? So first of all, we need to import the relevant points of interest. And then that we need to um, map their positions to sumo edges that they are accessible for Sumo. We also need a um, list of customer requests with start and end points, and also a request manager for the vehicle routing. I have to admit that our approach is by far not so sophisticated like uh, the colleagues are doing with Tapas. So I was very impressed yesterday but for, um, at the Tapas workshop. But I think our approach can be useful for some certain use cases. So this is our um, tool chain here. We are starting with uh, the OSM web research and the OSM poly file will go into our tool chain called Sumo for AV environment, which I want to explain now in detail. So we start as mentioned at, at the OSM web research. I really want to thank the Sumo team for this nice, straightforward, and easy to use tool, which Jacob was presenting yesterday also. Uh, he called it the three-click scenario generation. And it's really, it's really like this. It's really good to use, simple. And we get these files here, the, the poly file, the net file, the view file, trips file, and they all are included to the sumo config file. Uh, for our test environment, we took the city center of Mannheim. So we extracted this area here for our simulation. And we got these um, files here and, and all the other mentioned files. So the OSM net file contains all the Sumo accessible map entities, like edges, lanes, junctions, and many more entities. And then we have this uh, OSM poly file, which contains, as the name says, polygons, but also points of interest. And these entities uh, are displayed by the Sumo GUI, but unfortunately, they're not accessible by Sumo. And here is where our toolchain comes in. So to make this clearer, I will zoom in into, into this 
area here. And we see, as mentioned here, the HS lanes junctions on the left side and then on the right side, clearer the points of interest and the polygons, the buildings. For example, polygons can be buildings or other areas like the park area here. I will zoom in again here. And we see here some points of interest. Some may be interesting for us, some maybe not. For example, we have here a tree or trees, waste baskets, benches, which might be not so interesting destinations for our robot taxi customers. But we have also very interesting points of interest here um, cafe, a hairdresser, bakery, boutique. And these are really interesting start and endpoints for our robot taxi customers. And um, there is this nice um, Python tool, the OSM API. We can get further information for each point of interest. For example, here we see this is a cafe. We see the name of the cafe. We see the opening hours, the operator, phone number, website, and even if it's wheelchair accessible. So this information can be quite useful for our scenario generation. In the moment, we are using just a few of them, but um, maybe in future, we can also use more of this information here. So now, as mentioned, we want to process this OSM poly file now with our tool chain. And the first step is called the so-called so um, Sumo OSM POI tools, which generates a bunch of other files. But first of all, this uh, customized poly file. And here you see the, the POI's edges. Here is the, um, the files where the mapping of, this, of, of the um, points of interest is. We have this nice uh, GUI tool here. We import all the points of interest and all polygons from our selected map area. And we can select which of them are relevant for our simulation. We can select it here and we can also assign uh, customized colors for each of them. And then we, with this script here, we create the um, uh, POI edges, so, so the, the mapped. Um, positions. For example, here we have to map this um, position of the cinema to this uh, lane here and the lane position. And here the restaurant and the pub here. And we have also this nice feature here, the create map legend, where the, um, the assigned colors are written to a PNG file that we see in our map afterwards, what we have here. And we also have this uh, convert parking area script here. Um, here we can convert parking areas from OpenStreetMap data to sumo accessible parking lots, which makes sense also for our robot taxi fleet that if no request is at hand, the vehicles can park here in between until the next request will come. So finally, after the first step, we get these files here. We get um, our nicely colored customized OSM poly file, which appears like this in the Sumo GUI, and then the map legend. Ah, this should be a PNG file, not an XML file here. And we have here the, the OS, the POIS edges file, which where you see the mapping. You see each point of interest has a certain edge ID, a lane position, which can be used for uh, by Sumo then. And one interesting thing here, you see that, for example, here that um, restaurant can either be a polygon or can be a point of interest. So the OSM data is not so consistent here. So it can be both or you see here the same. So we have sometimes uh, points of interest, which are polygons and some, some are real 
points. <clears throat> so the next step, we need to generate a list of customer requests. Therefore, we have this generate scenario tool, scenario generator. We can define here from which uh, kinds of points of interest the customers should get picked up. For example, here from apartments, residential areas, offices, and they should be brought to theaters, restaurants, cinemas, pubs, beer gardens, fitness center. This would be an evening scenario after work. People want to get picked up, for example, at the office building and brought to a beer garden or something like this. And here we can define how many requests we have for each, um, uh, for each um, line here. For example, 60 requests bring people from apartments to theaters or 90 requests from residential areas to restaurants. And we can even define round trip options that people get picked up at the same, at this location and brought to the original destination. And um, we can define a stay time and also can normal dis distribute this stay time to make the stay time more realistic. So after we have the list of customer requests, we can start the simulation. Therefore, we use this next GUI tool here to define the parameters for the simulation. And we can specify three, three kinds of routing strategies. The simple strategy means one passenger per vehicle and the closest vehicle will be assigned to the request. The look ahead strategy can look uh, into the future. For example, in this uh, case, 900 seconds, so 15 minutes, the fleet knows already where the next request will arise. The idea behind this is to combine it with AI prediction, which is not implemented here in the moment. Um, and the third strategy is the shared strategy where more than one passenger is allowed. So after performing the simulation, we can uh, display the results in this tool here, or we can ex export the results and, um, and import it to Excel. And so for our evalu evaluation of this evening scenario, the first results seem to make sense that with increasing robot taxi fleet, the waiting time decreases. By increasing the fleet, the costs per kilometer increase because we have these uh, base costs for the fleet. And we also see that the CO2 emissions are lower for the sharing strategy because more than one passenger can be um, driven at once. Uh, the code is freely available. And I want to encourage you all to clone it, to try it out, to improve it, to give feedback. Uh, I have to say it's really a prototypical um, state of the code. And uh, but if we want to share it to you, maybe to give some ideas or to get, to get some feedback. And if you have questions or um, some suggestions, just contact me.